Hi, it's now time to actually do our demonstration of our bean planting. If you didn't get a starter kit, then you can still pick them up. They're in a cooler on the walkway to the Ed Center. And inside each kit you will find a biodegradable plant turf planter and enough dirt to fill it. This is starter soil, not topsoil, and a bean. If you'd like to plant more than just one, we will have this jar and you'll be able to take home how many ever you would like. Um, if you want to grow a lot of them, then you probably want to go to a hardware store or a garden store to pick up a lot more beans. As you, we go through this, you might have everything at home to do your own potting. Um, otherwise, you're welcome to come and pick up our things. And always, our beans, the beans are here. At the end of our demonstration, we'll share more about what to do when your beans have grown into little plants and they're ready to be repotted and planted outdoors. Now, to help us with this demonstration, demonstration, we have invited Chloe and her family to help us out. Chloe has been at Eagle J and done some different activities with us, so I'll just let you tell us Thank about you, yourself. Maureen. Hi, I'm Chloe Wright, and these are my three lovely children behind me. <laughs> and um, I am here today to just help you guys explain the awesomeness of planting these beans and how to do it. Um, I have been a part of EcoJ for five years, I feel like it's been about five years. We were introduced to this establishment by a good friend and my kids have been campers every summer for the past five years. And a couple years ago we started Alpaca Yoga, which has been well received, so please come <laughs> this summer. Um, and we've just been a part of the fall festival, that is always such a wonderful thing, um, helped with the auction, the silent auction. so. Awesome place, awesome place. Um, as for these amazing beans, uh, our Equinox seeds are significant for very different reasons. Um, its name changes, so does its meaning. Here are, here are just three of possible meanings. Some people call the seeds orca seeds. They look like cute little orca whales, look at that. <laughs> and orca is a small whale, and if you use a little imagination, you can see the shape of the whale. Part of it is black, part of it, part of it is white, and you can see its eye right on the whale. They are also referred to as yin-yang seeds. The curves of the black and white colors match the symbol of yin-yang. According to Wikipedia, in ancient Chinese philosophy, yin and yang is a concept of dualism, describing how seemingly opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary, interconnected, and interdependent. Of course, we use the name Equinox Seeds on the day of the spring equinox because it is half black and half white. The black represents the dark of night and white represents the light of day. The colors on the seed are about half and half of the whole seed, just like night and day are nearly the exact same length, 12 hours, all over the world. This is the reason we celebrate the equinoxes. Equinox means equal night. Now I'd like to introduce my children who are the master gardeners for the day. This is Quinn, he is 13 years old, Neil who is 15, and Charlotte who is 11. And I'm gonna let them take it away. So, to grow your Equinox bean seed, there's only a few things you'll need and they're pretty common and found in your kitchen. First, you'll need your Equinox bean seeds your biodegradable pot made of paper rolls or newspaper, your pan in case your biodegradable pot starts to leak, soil for your bean, a small bowl that you can put your soil in, some water to grow your plant, and of course, sunshine. If you've ever planted a seed before, you'll know there's not much to it until you're ready to replant it outside. But these are the steps you'll need to do before you can replant it outside. First, you'll need to put soil into your bowl. Then 
Then you'll need to add water to moisten the soil. Continue adding soil and water to mix it until you can form a loose ball in your hand. Next, you'll want to place your soil into your biodegradable pot. Place your pot on the pan and then add soil and water to mix in your pot until it is full. But make sure you leave soil and don't push it down. Next, place a bean seed about one inch into the soil. Then, every couple of days, fill the soil and add a bit of water when it starts to dry out. If water is building up in your pan, you might be adding too much water. Then, all you need to do is place the pan in sunshine. For fun, take pictures and write about the plant's progress. Marine planted three bean seeds and they sprouted in 14 days. She took pictures as they grew and in five days, the tallest one was about five inches high. Once they pop out of the soil, they're fun to watch. We're going to take pictures, take this one home with a couple more starter kits and send in our pictures back to EcoJ when they start growing. You can tag us on Facebook or Instagram or message us your photo. Your bean plants can be planted outdoors after the last spring frost or early May depending on the weather. They should be left outdoors for a few hours a day over a few days before planting them in your garden. Plant the sprouts in a sunny spot by digging a hole in your garden the size of the pot you've used and drop the biodegradable pot into the soil. If your pot is not biodegradable, place the plant in your garden soil. Sow your seeds about two inches apart when daytime soil temperatures are at least 60 degrees. That's about six to, six to eight weeks after the equinox. You can also continue to grow your bean sprout in a larger pot indoors like this one. The equinox orchid yin yang is a bush, there's a bush bean and your plant will grow about 15 to 18 inches. It will flower, then grow pods. You may harvest your beans as a green bean or wait for them to dry in their pots. They are edible as raw pods, cooked, or dry beans can be cooked. Thanks for spending time with us today. We hope our demonstration was helpful and that you will be watching your seeds pop up in about 15 days from now. Remember, you can contact EcoJ to reserve a starter kit until this Friday. Bye for now!